G'day mate, my name is George, and today I'm going on a safari. I'm keeping an eye out for Kiseras, Ikras, and Ibras. Oh my! We are travelling across the plines of the Health Reimbursement Arrangement, or the HRA. The HRA is a group health benefit plan, funded solely by an employer, providing cash reimbursements to employees, their spouses and dependents, and retirees for qualified medical expenses. This includes health insurance premiums and prescription drugs. Crikey! I think I've spotted a qualified small employer HRA, otherwise known as a Cusera. Look at the stripes on her. She's a rare creature. In fact, she's so rare, she can only be provided by employers with fewer than 50 employees. A Cusera has contribution and reimbursement limits differing for single persons and families. In order to maintain a Cusera, the employee must have and maintain minimum essential coverage. Let's leave her alone and see if we can find the other two on our list. Stop! Do you see him behind the tree? It's a wild individual coverage HRA, or an ICRA. These can be provided by employers of any size, with no defined contribution or reimbursement limits. The employer can independently decide where to set these. In order to attract an ICRA, employees must have and maintain qualified individual health insurance. Now let's leave him alone and sally forth. Ah, there he is. The elusive accepted benefit HRA, also called an IBRA. He travels alone as he's not compatible with Qseras or ICRAs. Those in search of an IBRA have different motivations than those searching for a Qsera or an ICRA. Much like the ICRA, IBRAs can be provided by employers of any size. However, IBRAs have contribution and reimbursement limits of $1,800 indexed annually. Luckily, there are no employee requirements to attract an IBRA. Don't get lost in the jungle of plans and regulations. WebCE offers plenty of courses to help you navigate through the jungle of healthcare plans. To view our catalog, visit www.webce.com or give us a call at 877-488-9308.